Right, we live, man. Uh, so we're here with Quill, Albuquerque, Mexico, Central. So how's it going today, man? It's going all right. Just fighting, all right? fighting the heat. Right? Hot as hell here, man. Summertime. Yeah, it's been cooking lately. Yup. So uh, how long you uh, lived here in Albuquerque? Life. Been here for life? Yep, been here How for old life. are you, if you don't mind me asking? 48. 48. I'm right there behind you, man. So what, what you doing out here, man? Do you have a Do you have a home? I do. I you live, do? In, live in an apartment down the yeah. road. Yeah. Good. Nice, nice. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, 40 year old special ed teacher, football coach. Uh, just went through a divorce about four years ago. Life's been pretty tough since then. Just trying to pick up the pieces and get things going again. But I met an awesome girl. So I got a girlfriend for four years now, and she's a uh, She's great. She's everything to me, and um, but other than that, it's it's been a struggle to get back on back on my feet. Yeah. What uh what's the main thing that threw you off? Uh, financials. Financial situations. Yeah. Is it uh just did you lose your job or do you have uh <clears throat> no just any other lose. problems? Anything you want to share, man? You don't you don't have yeah, to. Yeah. No, so. just losing the 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 dual income, you know, that I had with with, with my ex wife and right. Um, being on my own. Uh, it was difficult. Uh, seeing my kids less, you know, it was harder. Um, it's, got, it's getting better now. They're older now. They're adults now. So, um, but uh, it was tough for a while. Yeah. Uh, How old are your kids? 28, 26, and 21. Nice. My oldest is a boy, and then the two girls. Yeah. They all here in town too? Uh, no. Uh, my oldest boy is, and so is my youngest girl. My oldest daughter is in Texas. I see. So. Uh, what kind of uh, plans do you have uh, for yourself to try to get get back landed? Well, you got I mean, that lined up yet, or are you still working on it? No, I mean, I'm a career teacher, still doing it. Uh, I love what I do, but it's not a lucrative profession, as you all know, so right. don't make a lot of money. Um, that's kind of the struggle with it. I love coaching, too, but again, it just doesn't, doesn't pay a lot unless you go to like a college level, so uh, kind of a stuck point right now, trying to figure out uh, what I'm going to do, but Basically, just trying to stay close to God, to be honest, with everything going on with COVID and the world, the way it is, and uh, the drugs being where they are, and the streets is being as tough as they are. It just seems like, like we're all in a tough spot right now. Uh, all right. So I'm just trying to hold on to hold on to my faith and uh, and my girlfriend and uh, keep my head above water, man. That's it. All right, right. I'm not sure if you told me, but what uh, what were you teaching? I'm a special ed teacher. I work with at-risk youth. Nice. Yeah. And uh, how long has it been since you were uh, doing that? Uh, I've been doing it since 2000. 2000? Yeah. Pretty good. And you've been doing all that here locally in town? Uh, no, I, I mean, I taught uh, out of town a few times. I've taught in California for a year, San Jose. Taught in Farmington, taught in Carlsbad. Um, but other than that, here in Albuquerque, yeah. Yeah. And I'm sorry, I don't know if you said how long you've been uh, been divorced. Uh, January 1, 2018. 18. So. Fairly, fairly recent, man. Still trying to, yeah. trying to get a, a groove going without the normal routine, right? That's right. I That's hear you, right. man. It's tough. Yep. So, uh, what else? What else can you tell me about yourself, man? What do you? What else you doing out here, man? You just, uh, just surviving like the rest of us? Surviving, man. Trying to, you know, stay in shape, getting older. Yeah. Um, everything hurts a little bit more. You don't recover as fast, but uh, I'm, I'm going through the same thing, man. I'm in yeah. the early 40s. I, I can't no. can't do the things I used to do, man. Exactly. I, mean, I can still do them, but I just. I, it hurts a little bit more when I'm done, you know, no, it takes longer to recover. But, you, don't, uh, you don't look too bad, man. You, you look probably better shape than I am, man. <laughs> but uh, good. that's it, man. Just trying to just trying to get by. And like I said, fighting this heat. It's, it's unusually hot at this time of year. Yeah. So what do you, what do you think is the main problem here with uh, it's, it's taking over the, the streets with the drugs? Uh, fentanyl. Fentanyl pills, man. Fentanyl? Yeah. Running the game right now? Just running everything. Taking yeah. it over. It's like the meanest, meanest drug I've seen in my life. Yeah. Yeah. You mess with it at all, or no? No, no. That's good. That's good, man. Uh, what do you think needs to happen to uh, to to kind of switch up? Why well, that's a problem? What do you What do you think the state needs to do? Or yeah, unfortunately, I think they need to uh, provide more uh, opportunities for uh, for people to get off the streets, uh, housing, jobs, that kind of stuff. Uh, you're not gonna be able to take the drugs out. It's not gonna happen. Right. You're not gonna be able to do it. So. The only way to get people off it is to give them incentive to get off it, which is, again, like housing, uh, money, jobs. Uh, that's what it's about, man, really. 
I mean, you really at just the the treatment. Day, yeah, and at the end of the day, that's what people are doing, man. They're, they're selling these things because they need money. Right. And so they start selling, then the people that are using are suffering, and it just grows. It just turns into a cycle. It grows, yeah. Just keeps repeating, right? And growing. Yeah. I feel you, man. So you're trying to uh, get back into uh, teaching again? Are you thinking about having a different career path? Uh, I always think about having a different career path, but uh, I, I end up staying in the classroom. I, I don't know if I'll always do that. Uh, do you have any, any, uh, anything else that you think about switching up to, uh, think about, trades or anything? No, but I do think about coaching at a higher level. Coaching yeah. football, like at a college level maybe. Nice. Um, but then I got to be ready to tra move, be willing to move and do things like that. It's just, it's just a, lot, a lot of decisions to make. Yeah, that turns into extra costs exactly. and everything so, else. Yeah. But I don't, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know about a career change at my age, to be honest. Yeah. I like what I do. Yeah. yeah. Just kind of stick with it and see if yeah. another opportunity comes through. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, man. Is there anything else that you... Uh, Want to say, say hi to anybody or? No, I'll just say hi to my family, kids, mom, hello. Courtney, I love you. Uh, and to all my homeboys, what's up, fellas? Albuquerque. Stay right clean. on. Thank you for your time. You're okay with me using this on my YouTube channel? Absolutely, thank you. Right on, thank you for your time.